AFTV, another poor away performance. You, I know you've been here. You've been all the away games, haven't yeah, you? Yeah. And and this was as bad as 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 any of them. It's embarrassing. Poor performance from the first minute. Did it look like we were going to win the game at all? Did it even look like we were going to score? Not really. I think we had two shots on target the entire game. I could be wrong, but I think we had two shots. I think Xhaka had like a half volley from outside the box, which was actually a good shot. Mm. And then towards the end, the Sabaya shot that was like kind of a poor cross and then they headed mm. it out and then he had a shot. Other than that, I don't think we made the goalie do anything saving shots wise. Like obviously we were putting the balls in the box and he was just catching them, but that wasn't good enough. Conceding, we conceded from a corner. I think last season we didn't concede or maybe we only conceded one. This season we conceded against Liverpool from a corner and we conceded today, which isn't good enough. So I don't know what is going on there. Um, Gwendouzi, I thought again, played really well, especially stopping them from counter-attacking from mm. corners. Um, but overall, it was just all the players were embarrassing. And you, it doesn't look, you see when we come here, yeah? Does it look like we have a plan to go and win the game? Does it look like that? Honestly. Well, what, what, what struck me tonight and has struck me kind of all season away from home is the lack of intensity when we go away from home. That's what shocked me every mm. single... This is what I was hoping it was going to get fixed because I used to see it a lot under Arsene Wenger as well, particularly in the latter years. Yeah. I don't see that... When I look at, say, teams like Liverpool City when they go away from home, there's an intensity to them right from the start. Exactly. Even Leicester. I'm looking at us at the moment and when we go away from home, it's just like, oh, we'll grow into the game. Yeah. And if you can see the goal... We, I mean... You can see the goal, your game plan's out the window. I, I just don't see... I thought that Unai Emery was going to bring that intensity. He's not bringing that at the moment. Mm. Well, really, what, did the, what did the players give us to chant about today? What did they give us to sing about? Nothing at all. We were boring. We, we, cool, we all came up here really good from all of our fans, but we didn't sing, we didn't do anything because it's the players. We're all singing just before the game went, uh, in the concourse bit. We go there, within two minutes, we're all quiet because we can see no one's on it, no one wants to win the game. And the way that we've already started, it's not uh, like encouraging. It's not an encouraging start. Um, Is it Emery's fault? Uh, debatable. <laughs> Lineup wise, yes, because for me, people said Tierney, I, I think Lacazette should have started. Even though he was injured, the moment he came on, he grabbed that number 12, who was playing at the back, and said, right, cool, you're not getting the ball off me. Every time he got the ball, he made, up, yeah. you hold the ball up, which is what you need, especially when you need a goal. But start him. Tierney should have started as well, because Kalazanak was poor. Um, and I thought Sabaya should have started, because, yeah, Willock is young and whatever, but you don't bring in Sabayos to put him on the bench. You don't bring in Tierney to put him on the bench. These are players that we need, that we need to, that we need to start. But... On another thing, I don't think we've improved. So far this season, we haven't improved on last season. So pick a, so pick out of these. Fulham, Huddersfield or Cardiff, you pick one of them. Just say, just mm. give me, no, no, which one? Fulham. All right, Fulham, yeah? Mm. Last season, we beat Fulham 5-1 away. We lost 1-0 to Sheffield United, promoted team, yeah? Mm. Last season, we beat Tottenham at home. This season, we drew to Tottenham at home. Last season, we beat Watford away. We drew to Watford away. So we've already dropped, what's that, seven points mm. from last season. So we need to find those seven points from somewhere else to win. We're not going to get them at Leicester away. We're not going to get them at Man City away. We're not going to get them at Liverpool away. So we either need to, so like with Palace on Sunday, we need to beat Palace because that's three points that we dropped, which can go back up. But statistically, we haven't improved if you look on the matches and the games that we've played. Now, Emery's been here for a season and the start of this season, obviously. We still don't know what his style is. We still don't know what his best 11 is. Even his formation, sometimes he can play three at the back, four at the back, but there's no clear plan. Now, sometimes that can be a good thing because the other team don't know what we're going to come with, but we don't even know what we're going to do. Yeah, as fans, we need to come here and say, right, he's definitely starting. He's not going to start. Look, Jack is our captain. Yeah, he came off in 60 uh, after 60 minutes. He's our captain. He's the guy that needs to lead the team on the pitch, but you're coming off. So why is he starting in the first place? What is, I don't understand what he brings to the team. Socrates was poor as well. David Luiz was a bit better, but he was not great. But other than that, we never looked like we were going to score. We never looked like we were going to win the game. And Sheffield United were much better than us the entire match. And fully, did they deserve to win? Mm. There's no way we deserved that win. But, oh well, on to Sunday against Crystal Palace. Sunday.